on the mountain. God knows the people on the mountain. He knows what the mountain looks like. He knows how to send somebody up the mountain if you're looking for him. Every single heart is made exactly alike, yeah. and that is to seek after God. Yeah. If you're seeking after the sun, yeah. if you're seeking after the moon, if you're seeking after another man, if you're seeking after you, God must be first. I praise the Lord because he lifted me up from the dead. Mm. I was literally walking dead. Mm, mm, mm. He gave me that, and, and, and you know, he knew, and, and I tell this about the mountain because God knew. God knows whose soul's going to be saved and who's not. He knows who's coming, exactly, doesn't he? Because he knows all things. He knows if you're going to repent or if you're just feeling sorry for yourself. He knows if you're going to get up out of that deathbed and if you're going to get up and you're going to go walk out and maybe stray a few, uh, a few uh, of, his, of his children, maybe kill a few of his children. God knows what that soul is going to do. God knows when that, when that cutoff time, meaning I've told you enough times, it's all in the book, a book of Proverbs chapter 1. You know, God said, yeah, when you, when you make many prayers, I will not hear you. Wash yourself, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings. Cease, cease from evil, uh, learn to do good, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Uh, though your, skins, your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. It's something like that, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when I go before the Lord, because we have to come humbly, I, 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 Lord, cleanse me. Make every single crooked place straight. I have given up the, uh, p people wonder, well, did you, were you strung out and so that's why you left Hollywood? No, no, no. I left Hollywood when I had seven different projects uh, and, and uh, in the film business and um, mm. I, I, an album was about to come up. God told me, he said, Denise, he woke me up in the morning, just a babe in Christ. But I could hear, I was filled with the Holy Ghost and, and I, he said, walk to the refrigerator, get that tape. He said, just put your hand up inside the bucket. I was half asleep. I put my hands up inside the bucket and do you know it was, it was, a, 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 a song uh, on my album that was about to, could have made me, you know, go to the, climb to the charts. And the album was com completely ready, ready to go out. And God told me, he said that morning, he said, now pull that tape out. Because I used to sit and make the nastiest songs with the nastiest words and to see how vile I could get. That's what's going on with our children today. That's mm. what our people are mm. listening to. Mm. That's the movies that's going on today. Yes. God's not in all of that. He's not into the cursing. He's not into us going into the films, sitting down. And, and I say this because we have all been caught up in it. God is not into us sitting down in a film or paying for a film that has cussing and cursing and all this vile activity mm -hmm. in it. Yes. God's not in it. And I know it because I was it. I was right there. That's who I was. He, 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 and, and, and they've got films, every other thing. You've got to check on your internet because it's called Screen It. You can screen all the films that you, that you need to see and what God, God will, God said acknowledge me in every little thing that you do and I'm going to direct your path. Yeah. That's what he said. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Whosoever hearkeneth unto the voice of the Lord shall be free and quiet from all fear of evil. And you know, this was a major thing in my life. I mean, I quit the films and everything and put away everything, but Watching films? Oh, I love to watch films. It was a love thing. It was a passion. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm the only <laughs> person that did that. Just ran to the films, get excited, you know, felt like I was in it, you know. I would not make it, but then there I was, a hypocrite. A hypocrite because I would pay my money. God said, why are you paying your good, hard-earned money that I have blessed you with, and you come up out of the congregation, you preach my word, then you come and you want to sit and listen to this foul stuff. You can't look at naked this. God told us, even in the book of Leviticus, I think it was chapter 19, he said we weren't supposed to look at nakedness. Didn't he say that? Yeah. He said that we were supposed to look at our, uh, our, our, our children, not children, our children and, and, and next to kin and all this. We don't have no problem with that. We're just going to stare at everybody else's nakedness. <laughs> tell me I'm, tell me I'm. And, it's the truth. and you know, we, we need to overcome these things. And can we? Oh, sure. If I can, trust me, anybody can because I was a lover of films. Mm. Now, you know, you go on that screen it, They'll tell you every cuss word that you're about to see. Now, God's not into profound life. He's not into that. And that's a hard thing to, to, you know, it's a hard thing to overcome. I had to fast and pray. Go ahead, fast and pray. <laughs> and God will do it. He'll remove that unbelief in our hearts that we have to watch that stuff. Because we get caught up in our entertainment. That's our world today, isn't it? Yes, it is. Look at this. Jesus Christ saved, I know why he saved me. He saved me so, you see, I was an idol. I was a working idol. Mm. That's what I did. And God said, if you don't keep your temple holy, I'm going to destroy that temple. So he took that idol 
out, you know, that idol that was laying there in the corner that was begging to die, the one that, the 250 high blood pressure, 109, the heart mm. attack stroke, the one that was begging to die, I'm going to take that one right there. I'm going to pull her up, that idol, out from out of the darkness. I'm going to place her in the chair. I'm going to wash her, make her clean. I'm going to put the word up inside of her mouth because she's got all this foul, foul. I have foul language. Nobody cussed like me. I mean, I was just, I needed to read a dictionary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I'm telling you, if God could do that, he, he washed me in the word. I, I, I'm with, I, I have wonderful teachers, Pastor Willie and Roxanne Harper. They are just a gem in the Lord, you know? My pastor, I'd say that, if Moses wasn't given the job to, you know, to give the Ten Commandments, my pastor would. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sister Harper, she is uh, a prophet. You know, you know, she's the kind of woman that when you hang around, it, God will tell her. You know, mm -hmm. so, so you, you just want to go ahead and get straightened out. <laughs> because you know God's going to tell her anyway, uh -huh. you know. She'll tell you where you've been, what mm -hmm. you're doing. You know, and, and so I appreciate these people. And I, I want to say hello to all the JC fans and... And, and, and all my friends back home, Pastor uh, Pointer, and I gotta say all these people, cause they, you're gonna mention my name, you're gonna mention my name. I'm Pastor Reese, Apostle Reese, yeah. <laughs> I wanna ask you, <laughs> after we get all of our hellos done here, okay. I wanna ask you what God is specifically, now you, you, you've come a big step yes. for the direction of where you are now. It, 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 it was uh, begin to be catapulted, I guess you could mm. say, from forgiveness. Yes. When you begin to forgive your father yes. and you begin to forgive yourself you begin to walk in the things of God mm -hmm. but he has opened the doors for uh, new horizons and new ministries and some yes. things that I want to be sure that we get to before right. our time slips away from us yes. what is God doing uh, at, at this point in your, yes. in you your know, walk I've been, with him? Been, I have been preaching all across the, the country mm -hmm. uh, every um, uh, every weekend I've been ministering in some different church I'm an evangelist and God has ordained me to do that and, and um, I'm so happy that that Serving the Lord is at the top of my list. I've been writing a book called Blame It on Van. I've been preaching that word concerning cast you away every man, the abominations of your eyes. Defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. God took that idol uh, 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 and, and, and cleaned it and mm. cut it and dirt the poison out. And now mm. I'm here to, to tell the people, don't worship idols, even the body of Christ. That's mm. how we backslide. I'm writing a, a, a book these, called Blame It on uh, Vanity. And I have... Um, do some posters, these? you know, 100% of my build uh, of my um, uh, these posters. The cost of these posters goes to the building fund. Okay, God is good. This one, I, um, I have this one right here. It's called Blood Water. So why wrote, dost thou? You, you can I write? Yeah, I wrote it and I painted the the pictures and stuff like that. Is it a poem? Yes. Uh -huh. And and this is like take. It's called the book would really be called taking taking dictation, dictations mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. This one says, Why dost thou sit thyself fathers for me? Have not I called thee my son to be free? Have not I bled for the loss of your sin? Why dost thou look so then far and falling? There be the ground. Dost thou greet after gold? There in thy book, my son, you've been told. Canst not thou part from the want to be damned? Drink in the warmth of the blood from mine hand. Taste then and see, for my bread is still sweet. And why dost thou not partake bitters to eat? Come thou, my son, sit close by my side. Come drink in the waters of nothing to hide. Praise oh, the Lord. Wow. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Now, this, is this part of your book? Yeah, this, you know what? There's going to be a lot of poems in my book. But the, the, the book on Blame It on Vanity, Denise, is, is you know, you really, uh, that vanity will be scratched out, like, it, like lipstick out, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Where So it's really Blame It on Denise, because, you know, hey. Right. <laughs> They're always trying to blame it on the devil, you know what I mean? <laughs> the devil made me do it. Yeah, exactly. The devil made me do it, you're right. <laughs> well, these, are th these poems, uh, what's the book? I mean, is it a, a, a ministry kind of book that will help people? Yeah, come? It, 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 a is it your life story? My, a lot of them is uh, my testimonies. And, you know, like this one. Uh, do I have time for one more or yeah. no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This one, I love this poem. I mean, uh, do it slower, though. Oh, the last one's a little a fast. Slow, too fast? A little bit. I think bit. they said, like, what, I had 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> this is, where do I go from here when I've fallen hard from your will? And what do I say besides I'm sorry and hope in my heart you'll forgive? What can I say to fix that wound? I know I'm pulled down to weep. And what shall I name this thorn in my side from cuts made far too deep? Mm. Why would you want to love me when you know I've slowed down beside you, hoping you wouldn't notice when I've sinned in front and behind you? So how do you trust me now, Lord? And where do I go from here? Will you stay beside me? Will you erase my fear? Right now it's hard to believe that you still love somebody like me, even after I've said I'm sorry, when I know I've sinned against thee. And this is what that looks like. It's, you know, I painted the picture. Can that you see that? Absolutely. Can you see that?
You wrote, you wrote the poems then. You, you know, the Lord, I really just take dictation because it comes out like water. You know, mm. when I was when I was walking with the devil and when I was serving the devil, that stuff was coming out like water. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When you got the spirit, uh, uh, so many demons working through you and you're listening. See, uh, I don't listen to that stuff anymore. I, I just try and keep myself focused on Jesus. And, and God wants us to prosper, but God wants us to have integrity. Because, because uh, riches and, and all that stuff can be, uh, favor can be deceitful. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, and uh, what, beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Mm -hmm. And so I, 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 I'm scared of God in the sense that I have great respect for his word. I love his word. And if I'm not doing something right, Lord, okay, I'm not doing this right. Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's just, our pride must be diminished. And God is so good, and he's so good. <laughs> <laughs> he saved me. I've been seven, I've been like seven years sober now. Can I say that? Praise yes, the Lord. Yes, of course. Seven years. Seven years. I'm going on my eighth year. I'm not sure. You know what? You start, let's start losing track. Here. Since you are now uh, the evangelist, uh, and, and that is to bring the gospel. Yes. And to uh, bring healing, maybe, or salvation, or Thank you, what? Uh, would, would you like to evangelize right now a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Even more so. <laughs> oh, you mean, I don't think I have there. enough time to Well, I? it'll yeah, take but a do. minute. If, I mean, how long does it take for you know, us this is, to give somebody okay. an opportunity? You, uh, to, to bring them to Jesus? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant to preach a word, because I can preach a word. <laughs> no, don't preach. <laughs> <laughs> we had just had Mr. T. You know, can I, can I pray for the people? Please, please. Come on, let, let's pray together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. We come before you because you're so powerful. You're so mighty. You're so glorious, Lord. We lift your name up on high, Jesus, because you're the great and mighty Savior, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we're pressing in this year, Lord Jesus. We want to do whatever in your will, Father. We want to follow your will. We want to seek after you, Lord Jesus. Make every crooked place straight. Lord Jesus, those that are backslidden, Father, we call them back, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yeah. Help them send the people to us, to them, Father, to minister to them, to touch their hearts, to lay hands on the sick, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, you have given us power to cast out devils and do cures and lay hands on the sick that we will recover, Lord Jesus, and that they shall recover, Father. Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, to do your will, Father. You said, whosoever hearkeneth unto the voice of the Lord shall be quiet from all fear of evil, Lord Jesus. You told us, Father, to go out there. You said, follow me and I'll make you fishermen, oh Lord Jesus. You, we want to catch your fish, Lord Jesus. We want to do your will, Lord Jesus. Mm. We want, show us mm. how to love you more, Father. Yeah. Show us how, Lord. You, see, you give power to the faith in them that have no might. You increase strength, Lord Jesus. Increase our strength, Father. Help us to minister to your people, Lord Jesus. Help us not to keep it for ourselves, Lord Jesus, but to give it to your people, to minister to them, Lord Jesus, to help them, to yes. guide them. Give us all the fruit of the Spirit, Lord Jesus. Increase, increase our faith through the Word of God, Lord Jesus. Help us to read more abundantly to Jesus and help us to see what we don't see Lord open our eyes and and, and the blind that are that are that are out there Lord Jesus I ask that you touch their eyes father that you use your people Lord Jesus send them forth in the name of Jesus Lord oh heal us father heal our land for you said cast you away every man the abominations of your eyes Lord Jesus help us to read and obey you father oh Lord you're so glorious you're so mighty we're so blessed by your name Jesus we're so thankful for the power of your name Jesus we're so thankful for the power that we have, Lord, that you have blessed us with to give us, Lord. We have no excuse, Father, but to follow you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, help us, Lord. Yeah. Help us in these last days, Father, for we seek after your will, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Yes. We worship Hallelujah. you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, Lord Jesus. Rip, Lord Jesus, every slay us, Father. Slay us in our hearts and drip the poison out those places that we need to, 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 to be cast out, Lord Jesus, in your name, Father. Mm. Oh, mm. Lord. Mm. We love you, Jesus. Yes. We love you. Show us how to love you more, Lord Jesus. Yes. Oh, bless us, Father. Mm. Yes. You said, stand ye in the way and see and ask, where is the old path? Where is the good way? Oh, hallelujah. You said there would be rest for our souls if we did this, Father. Oh, we seeking you out today, Jesus. Oh, through every testimony that's been spoken through, this gospel tonight, Father, through Bishop Blake, through Mr. T, Lord Jesus, and all those that are coming forth, Mark, Lord Jesus, bless us to use, use our mouth, Father, use, our, use these vessels, Lord Jesus. Make us and shape us and transform us and use us, Lord. And bless, bless those, Lord, 
that you know that you're married to the backslider, Father. Even like I was, Lord Jesus, you're our healer and our provider, and you are the only one that can do it for us. Lord, we're seeking after you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Everybody say hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You know. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you know, it, this is... <sighs> I, I, I'm just, I'm having, I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> I, I, this is really so unusual with the guest we've had tonight, and I'm, and I'm having a wonderful time. It's, you know, we're used to talking to such traditional people, and look what we got Denise here tonight. We got, you know. It, Can I tell the people that I have a kidney? God blessed me with a kidney transplant. I gotta tell you that you God is so good. A miracle. A so, it's me. They said it would take four years. They said it would take four years for me to have a kidney. And, and they came and they told me, uh, Denise, it's going to take four years. You might as well just, you know, just get on the list. Well, I said, the Lord sent me out here to get a kidney. Now, you bring me my kidney. They thought I was crazy. I said, and when I get my, when you bring my kidney, God's going to, you're going to come to church with me. And so they did. It was a couple of weeks <laughs> later. A couple of weeks later, they said, they called me up and said, Denise, we have a kidney here for you that by law we must give it to you because it matches your body so well. I said, that's my God. They said, we'll take a miracle. That's my God. Oh, my. Hallelujah. And they came to church. <laughs> my, my. Yeah, bring those you scientists know. in, huh? Um. <laughs> I was so blessed. I love you both. <laughs> I'm still back there saying, mouth. and the kidney came to church. I mean, I'm still back did there. Did I say the kidney came to church? Well, you said... Or the, the, the doctors came to church. Did I say the kidney came to church? You yeah, said, the kidney came to church, too. You said you were going to claim your kidney, and then they were going to come to church. So, that, so I was still back there. The, the doctors, the scientists, you know, that sat up and said, there's no way she's going to have a kidney. No way. No way. It would take four and a half years. One lady the, out of the seven uh, doctors says, I almost believe this woman, because I went in and preached the word. That's all I did. In between the questions and answers, you know, about your body and stuff. <laughs> so we've heard so tonight. God owns everybody.